When working with Tableau, there are two main ways of interacting with your data. One is as a live connection and the other is as what's called an extract. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an extract on Tableau. So real quick, an extract is essentially Tableau's version. It's copy of your data. It's going to give Tableau a more efficient way of accessing your data rather than having to do through a live connection when you're constantly querying your database and making an extra call. So to start, here we are on our Tableau site, the main dashboard. And what we're going to do is select new published data source. So this is very similar to how we would create a report, but this time we're creating a data source. And right away, we're going to be met with this screen that's asking us to connect to a data. And in this case, we'll use one of the connectors and we will use Snowflake. This will be the similar process for any of these other ones, but in this case, Snowflake is a cloud based provider. So we'll put the server name in here. There's different ways to authenticate, uh, but first let's put the role in here. In this case, we'll do account admin. Uh, just uh, typically you wouldn't do this on a production environment, but for the sake of demo, I'm going to do this. Typically you'd have a role dedicated to it. And now I will authenticate with username and password and put all that information in here and we'll sign in. And if you don't have an error here, that means it connected on the left here, we can see the warehouse. We can have our options for warehouses that's based on our server. So it's connected and seeing all of those. We can also see all of the databases on this server as well, based on the role that we signed in as, I mean, in this case we did account admin so we could see everything. We can drill down into a specific database and schema. And as we compare it to Snowflake, this is exactly what we see. So this is, again, we're, we're connecting to our database through Tableau in a very similar fashion as you would in most other tools. Now let's double click one of these tables here and, and we can see over here on the right, it's giving us the breakdown of the table and the columns. We can go ahead and drag on another table. What we can see here is it's smart enough to understand that these are related in a way. And in this case, it's film ID. So it is able to create that join within them. Again, here we can go through all of the underlying data points in these, uh, in these tables here. We can create aliases for each individual column. So for, uh, you know, depending on how big your data set is, you would, you could go through here. The member is the actual name of the data and alias is what's going to come through. And you could change this for specific ones or do whatever you wanted and uh, right here through Tableau. Now we can also create another set here, all of this within this data source. We can add custom SQL to bring in something specific. Maybe it's not a specific table, but a, a custom set. And then up here on the right, this is the most important part of this video. We have the connection options, live or extract. Live is what we've been doing so far where everything is consistently connecting and querying your database server directly. But let's try the other option. Go ahead and select extract and we can see it uh, gives us some more prompts here. We can see it's automatic. It's going to automatically extract and it's going to include all the data. We can add filters if we want. So if we want to only extract certain data, we don't want the whole thing. We could do that here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and select create extract. It's going to create a Tableau optimized version of your data set. And it's going to hold on to it for you. And then we can save as publish data source. So this is now what's going to uh, deploy essentially this custom data set. But in our case, it's combining some tables and we can give it a new name, something that's a little bit easier to remember. It's not that combined name, we'll call it Fandango film data. We can embed the credentials in here. So that means it, it'll be a little bit easier for people to refresh it in the future. They don't have to have any you know, kind of sidestep some potential issues, uh, but that's up to you if you want to embed it or if you want people to have to input that. Now this is deployed and this is a very similar process as a report like we did in the previous video or a dashboard, I should say. And we can see it's populating here with all of the columns and, and table breakdown. We'll take a look. And it's flagging us and giving us that option to schedule it if we want. And we'll touch on that here shortly. But let's go through here and we can just kind of kind of look around. We can see here's our connection. This is what we programmed with our Snowflake connection. We have all this here. We can adjust it, test it, whatever we want. And here is the refreshes. So this is essentially when would this be refreshed? Uh, we have well, you can see the connected workbooks, lineage, who created it. Uh, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. But now that we've created it, let's uh, set it on a schedule to refresh. Because remember, this is a Tableau version. Even though your database data at this point now, because it's not a live connection, 
it's only going to know the data that's in the extract. So how do we make sure the extract is consistently updated? Well, we'll create this refresh schedule. And then here are the ways that we can do that. And here are some built-in options for you. In this case, the task types we can see on the right are mostly for subscription, which is a little bit different. But what we can see here is when the task type is extract, these are the options that we can use. We can customize them. We could add them to our published data sets. Uh, there's some built-in ones just to make it a little bit easier. But ultimately, that's what we're doing. You have this extract, you create a schedule, and it will refresh for you uh, as you need. You can always switch it to a live connection if you need to. And again, here are just some of the other options. So now let's say we wanted to create a workbook using this data. It's as simple as going to new workbook. And because we selected from there, it's just automatically grabbing that data. It's using that published data source data. And we can start dragging and dropping and using this as we would with any other data source and build out a report, dashboard, whatever we want. And, and typically the difference is that a, an extract data set will be slightly faster uh, depending on the size and the complexity of your data. Just to drive home the point again, this is now reading from Tableau's version of the data. It's not querying your data directly. So you have to keep that in mind in terms of refresh schedules and uh, what your users are looking at, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and publish this workbook. Call it film data. Put in our demo project and go ahead and save that. Now we're here it is, it's deployed. And if we go to the extracted data, now we can see there's a connected workbook, this film data workbook that we just created. And it all ties together pretty nicely in the Tableau website. And now lastly here, if we go to external assets, if you remember, here's all of our uh, data sets and, and whatnot, we can see we now have this connection to the, the raw database and the schemas and tables that we use to create that extract. It's now here and it's just available for us to look at in case we want to reuse it again for something else. So that is how you create a simple extract on Tableau. It's something, again, if you're using Tableau, you're going to run into it at some point, whether it's something that your team's already using or something you're considering. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have questions or if this is something you've used. I'll see you at the next video.